only takes about it only takes about 15 minutes to um, uh, before class uh, instead of uh, uh, two o'clock. You come at quarter to two and just help make sure everything is going OK. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, you can help with uh, reading the script that we have uh, to uh, welcome everybody in. It's a very simple process. So um, if you'd like to uh, volunteer, and I hope you would, um, then would you just please uh, Come uh, 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 email or text uh, to get in touch with Justin. So now let's begin with uh, uh, a little disclaimer. When you do this class, you don't have to kill yourself. <laughs> you can make it work for you. So um, let's just see. Everything that you do will be done at um, at your own pace and your own moderation. So, in other words, if you um, if I'm taking too long of a breath when I breathe, and you want to take a little bit shorter breath, go ahead. I guide you into breathing, and I do everything we do is with the breath. So we move the body with the breath, and the whole class is exactly that: moving the body with the breath. So when we're inhaling, we're initiating a movement. When we're exhaling, we are concluding it. Uh, when basically when we're inhaling, we're kind of body's rising, we're stretch and stretching. When we're exhaling, we're we're kind of crouching when we do these moves. This is really good for your thighs when we do that, for your legs. It improves your balance. There's so many good things about this exercise that stimulates all the connective tissue. So I'm going to start with the three heart opening breaths. So uh, put the palms in front of your abdomen. And when you inhale, just open the chest and stretch. This is heart opening. And then exhale. We'll do two more of these, just like this one. Through the nose, let's inhale. Make sure you enjoy the time and exhale. So in order to enjoy it, just don't overdo it. That's all there is to it. Again, inhale and stretch and exhale. Now with your feet, oh, about hip width apart. Just throw your arms around from side to side. Look straight ahead so you get an even twist uh, throughout your back. And when you go to a side, just kind of push down into a hip, which may uh, be, you know, you might need to bend the knee a little bit. Just kind of pushing down, just relaxing the arms, relaxing the shoulders. So I'm so relaxed with my arms, they're just kind of slapping into my body as I twist. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, when you do this for a while, you just start getting really relaxed with it. You get loose, and when you're relaxed, you're you know you're having a much freer flow of energy through your body. It's the tightness that you want to uh, work through and and look to soften up. Now we're gonna do the same up and down motion, but we're gonna bring our arms up to shoulder height. So the inside palm goes face down, the outside palm goes face up. Again, we're still looking straight ahead. We're still pushing down into a hip when we go to a side. So we open up the tissue throughout the hip area. So everything that we do has a really good reason. So by the time you finish with the class, you'll have exercise, every part of your body will have some movement, which is really cool. And the body needs movement to restore itself. It thinks if you're not moving it, then it thinks it doesn't have to fix it or restore it, and it won't go there anymore. So that's why it's important to move. Now widen the step and reach up high and stretch, and then go to the other side and stretch. <laughs> Again, lift up high and stretch, other side and stretch. Again, ah, that's a good stretch. And then, ah, that's a good stretch. Now come to the center. Now let's do a little brainwave vibrations. Just bounce the knees, let the shoulders relax. And uh, you'll notice that I do the same things in every class. So when I do the same things in every class, it's uh, these are the warm up for, portion that I'm part talking about, the beginning of the class. Because when you exercise, you want to warm the body. Brainwave vibration, that's what this is really called, is a great way to do that. Now, let's start uh, shaking the palms vigorously as you, at the same time you're bouncing the knees and you get a nice vibration in the body and you just get a natural rhythm. You're connecting with your own natural rhythm as you do this. Um, 
we want to bring the mind into the body. So we'll comp complicate this a little bit. Let's just kind of add a little wiggle the hips, wiggle the hips. <laughs> so we're bouncing the knees, shaking the palms and wiggling the hips. Okay. Let's take it another step and just shimmy the shoulders, shimmy the shoulders. So we got four things going. We're bouncing the knees, sh uh, shaking the palms vigorously, wiggling the hips and shimming the shoulders. Let's add one more fifth thing and that's the bobble ahead. And all this is just a complete state of relaxing through the body. Just find your bit rhythm and just kind of shake it all up. Whatever you're doing is perfect. You don't have to think about it. Just let it go. <laughs> that's all there is to it. You want to have a good time and enjoy yourself. Have fun while you're here. That's the whole idea. I just relax. Yeah, relax, relax, relax. Okay, now stop and feel the tingling in your fingers. As a matter of fact, if you can feel that tingling, that means you're successful at bringing the mind to the body. Because if you're thinking, where would you be? Someplace else, you wouldn't be here. So the whole idea with this mind body is to bring you into the moment so you have a really good time. Now drop the head down, relax the shoulders. Let's bring the chin around to the right. And then slowly lift it up high to stretch the uh, thyroid and the neck and that'll action. And then slowly coming down. So you notice we're putting the whole body into the stretch. Now with the breath through the nose, let's inhale on the upswing. Now feel the stretch through your rib cage, through your abdomen, your lower back, and then exhale slowly, slowly coming down. And you're getting the sides of the neck. Again, one more time up as we inhale. And as we exhale, we'll come down. Now, when you get to the bottom, we're going to reverse through the nose. Let's inhale the opposite way. Lift the chin up, stretching, putting your whole body into this, and then exhale, come on down. So this is more than just a neck rotation. Again, inhale, lift up and stretch. And then exhale. Of course, your head is connected to the rest of the body. We're just exercising that aspect of it. Inhale, lift up and stretch. And then exhale, slowly come down. Then just bring the head up and just relax and just take a moment and bobble the head, uh, shimmy the shoulders a little bit, just kind of loosen up. Right, let's do a little more neck exercises. Let's drop, drop the right ear to the right shoulder and uh, extend the left arm out to the side. And if you want a little bit more pressure, you can take your right hand and bring it around the head and just kind of pull just a little bit. You, know? you don't have to pull too much. You just kind of, you're getting a good stretch there. And when you pull out with your uh, left arm, it uh, complements what we're doing. All right, now let's add the breath. Inhale, just feel the whole body swell up with the energy, the air, and then exhale, just relax into that a little bit more. <laughs> Again, through the nose, let's inhale. Feel the whole body expand and then exhale, just relaxing into that. Oh, that feels so good. Again, inhale and just make it, it should feel good. No pain allowed. And then exhale, if there's a pain, it should only be mild and like a good stretch. Now, when we inhale, slowly come up. When we exhale, I just want you to kind of like bobble the head a little bit, and relax the shoulders, just bring everything right back into balance. And okay, let's do the same thing to the other side. So we inhale up. And then exhale to position. And then you extend your left arm out to pull on the neck. And just like before, if you want a little more pressure, just bring this hand up and around and just add the pressure. Uh -huh. that's, that's not required to put your hand around, but it's uh, some of us just enjoy doing that, like me. <laughs> so let's add the breath. Inhale, feel the body expand. And exhale, just relax into that. Again, inhale. And then exhale, just relax a little bit into that. Now inhale. Now exhale, relax fully into that. Now when you inhale, slowly come up. And when we exhale, just kind of gently bobble the head, shim the shoulders. So we're starting slow to just gradually bring the heart rate up a little bit as we're doing this. Let's do another one. Uh, put your right hand behind the neck. We're going to bring our elbow across and down just a tad, not all the way down, just a tad. So across and down, all right? And we look behind us. So inhale and then exhale into position. A good heart, look behind you. Now we'll add three breaths. Inhale and exhale. So look a little bit harder, feel a stretch in your uh, side. Again, inhale 
and exhale. You might feel stretch through various different areas. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Reach and look behind you a little bit more. Now when you inhale, slowly unwind and come back. And exhale, relax, and just kind of bobble the head and relax the shoulders. <laughs> yeah, let's do the same thing the other side. And behind the head, cross them down and look behind. So inhale and exhale, bring it across and down and look behind you. Then inhale and exhale into that stretch. Again, two more breaths. Inhale and big long inhale, feel the body expand. And exhale, feel a nice little stretch in your sides. And when you're looking behind, one more breath, inhale. And exhale a little bit more into that stretch. Now, when we inhale, slowly come on up and exhale. Just relax. And now just bring the body back into balance by a little bobble of the head, shim the shoulders, uh, kick the legs out, just kind of wiggle the hips, kind of just get back. These are uh, interesting exercises, I think. So uh, bring your elbow uh, hands up 45 degrees and make a fist and put your thumbs out to the side and your elbows are tucked in. We're going to squeeze our shoulders together and we're going to do uh, 10 of these. So let's inhale and then exhale to exertion, pull back, then inhale and exhale again, pull back, inhale and exhale, squeeze, inhale and exhale. That's four. Inhale and exhale. We'll do five more. Inhale and exhale. Knees are soft, not locked. Inhale and exhale, three more, inhale, and exhale, last two, inhale, and exhale, stretch, one more, inhale, and exhale, then inhale up, and exhale, drop the palms down, shake the arms, shim the shoulder, bobble the head, now let's do it just a little bit differently, bring your elbows up to shoulder height, make a fist, point the uh, fist together towards each other, and we're just gonna uh, pull the uh, elbows behind our back. So we begin with an inhale and exhale, pull. Then through the nose, inhale up and exhale, pull. That's two, always inhaling through the nose. Inhale and exhale. There's little hairs in the nose that filter out the impurities. Inhale and exhale makes four. Inhale. And exhale, five more. Nose breathing is your first line of defense for your immune system. And exhale, and inhale, and exhale, we'll do three more. Inhale, and exhale, last two. Inhale, and exhale, one more. Inhale, and exhale, no more. Then inhale up, and exhale, drop the arms down, shake them all around, shim the shoulders, and bobble the head. Now let's work on a little waist rotation. So bring your feet about hip width apart. We'll inhale up, exhale down, and uh, we'll come down to the right side first. You want to lock the knees because we're stretching the back of their legs. So it's really not really a, uh, a waist rotation. It's, it's a dynamic stretch for the back of their legs, but we do affect the hips too. So we're kind of opening up the hips a little bit in this as, as we go from, uh, come up and come down from each side. So we begin with an inhale up, now exhale down with the, just hinge at the hip, keep the head up to keep your back straight and just stretch through the back of the leg and then inhale up. Yeah, let's do it again as you exhale down, moving it around through a stretch in the back of the leg. When you come up, feel it in your right hip on the inhale. One more time around as you exhale down, you feel it in your left hip. Moving it around and inhale up. Now hold it here, we're gonna reverse. Now exhale down the opposite way, just hinging at the hip to keep your back straight, stretching through the back of the leg, yeah. <laughs> then inhale up, feel it in your left hip. And exhale down, feel it in your right hip. Stretching through the back of the leg, yeah. So just let the weight of the body pull and inhale up. Let's go one more time around as we're exhaling on the downswing. Moving it around. And inhale up. And exhale, relax. Now let's go into a forward bend. Palms in front of the abdomen. And inhale, reach out to the side. And exhale into a stretch. 
and slowly roll the palms up as you're inhaling, lift up through the abdomen, and then exhale, reach out and keep just hinging at the hip, just lower the arms and let the weight of the uh, torso pull in the back of the leg so you're not curving the back. You wanna avoid, the way to avoid curving the back is just kind of keep, keep your head up a little bit. Now let's add the breath, inhale, and exhale, just feel yourself relax a little bit more into that stretch. Two more breaths. Inhale and exhale, just allowing that pull in the back of the legs. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Oh, this is so good for the back of the legs. Now when we inhale, slowly come on up. And exhale, relax, and just kind of kick the legs out. So this is Qigong as we get, start getting into this. And all this is a leads right into Qigong. So we're gonna start with balanced plate exercise. And uh, Qigong is uh, just a wonderful form of uh, moving the body with the breath. And it's eight simple forms that we do. So you don't have to remember the forms. I say the same things over and over in every class. So let's step forward with your uh, right foot and put both palms out. This is called balance the plate exercise. Now you can take your left palm and put it on your hip or put it face up behind you, wherever you kind of enjoy doing. I've always taught to keep it face up behind me. Extend the arm, we'll make two circles. One will be underneath the arm and one will be over the head. Now this first one in position, we're kind of crouching down a little bit, okay? Now, when we start to make the circle, we stand up to stretch through the body, so we straighten the legs. And then it, and when we're completing the circle, we come back down into a crouch position again. So let's try it. So it's inhale, we're straightening the legs as we come underneath the arm, lift the elbow and shoulder up, bend the wrist, circle the palm, and, and so it faces out to the outside, and then exhale, bend the knees as you push to the side and stretch the arm vigorously. Now, when you inhale, we're gonna gyrate the hip all the way around, and as you completing the circle coming in the middle, you're standing up straight, and then as you're exhaling, you're completing the circle, coming back down into a crouch position. Let's try that again. So it's inhale underneath the arm, stretch, and then exhale, push to the side and stretch. Then inhale all the way up and stretch. Oh, and then exhale, crouch back down. This is so good. We rotate all the joints and develop strength and stretch. So inhale underneath the arm and then exhale to the side and stretch. Inhale, gyrate all the way around and the exhale completes the circle. Let's do two more of these. This is so good. Inhale underneath the arm and exhale, push to the side. Then gyrate the hip as you come up and then exhale, come back down as you're completing the circle. I know it's a lot to think about. It takes a little practice. Okay, then inhale, step in and exhale, relax. Shake the arms, shift the shoulders and bobble the head. Let's do the other side. Step forward with your left foot. Put both palms out. We're holding plates on the palms now so you can tuck one behind you and hold the one out in front. So this is a balance and we're crouched. First one, inhale, straighten the knees, come underneath the arm, lift the elbow and shoulder up, bend the wrist so you can circle the palm underneath the arm and then exhale, crouch as you stretch with that twisted arm out to the side. Now we gyrate the hip as you're inhaling, we're gyrating the hip. As you come over the head, you're straightening the body for a wonderful stretch. As you exhale, we come back down into a crouch position. Oh, it's so, so good. Again, inhale underneath the arm. And exhale, push to the side and stretch. Then inhale all the way around as we gyrate the hip. We're stretching up and then exhale, crouching down <laughs> as we gyrate the hip. Let's try that again. So it's inhale and exhale, stretch. Inhale all the way around. And exhale. Do this a couple more times. I want you to notice when my arm goes to the side, my hip goes to the other side, okay? So let's try it. So it's inhale, we stretch, and then exhale. Now my arm goes to the side, my hip goes the opposite way. Then I start gyrating my hip. As you inhale, it throws the arm around, coming up, and then exhale, coming back down. <laughs> okay, one more time, it's inhale. 
and exhale, stretch. Inhale all of the way around and exhale. Then come back and relax. Shake the arms, shift the shoulder, bobble the head. So I'm doing a lot of explanation of all the little fine details of the form, but sometimes it's better not to think too much about it and just kind of, you get the idea, just let your body go where it needs to go while you're doing this and you'll be just fine. And eventually you'll, you'll actually uh, start getting into the finer details as your body uh, gets used to the movement. But um, when you're, when you're uh, much, much younger, your body was used to these kind of movements. This restores that type of movement and brings a lot of vitality and health. We're gonna do both at the same time. So just kind of widen your step and, and come into a crouch position. Now we're gonna do two plates at the same time. So the first one, we inhale, we open the chest, straighten the knees, Circle the arms all the way around and then exhale, push behind us and crouch back down again. Now, when you inhale, we straighten the knees, come underneath the arm, lift up through the sides, lift the elbows up, make the circle underneath the arm, and then exhale, push to the front and stretch. So keep the shoulders over the hips so we're not leaning forward. Now, when you inhale, we come underneath the arm again and exhale, push to the side. Then inhale over the head. And exhale. <laughs> okay, some of you might have noticed I did the fifth form all from beginning then with four, four circles, four breaths. Well, let's try it for just the warm up now. So inhale, we open the chest, circle the arms, and exhale, push behind us. Oops, there I go again. Inhale underneath the arms and exhale to the front. Now here's the, here's the warm up. Inhale underneath the arms and exhale to the side. And inhale, crisscross over the head, and exhale, bend the knees. I always get confused in this one. So let's try that again. So just to start with extending the arms straight out, and uh, we'll pull them underneath our arms first, pull it in towards your chest. So inhale in towards the chest, straighten the knees, bend the wrist, circle underneath, and then exhale, bend the knees as you push the side and stretch with the head up, stretching your lower back. Then inhale, we crisscross over the head, stretching through the abdomen. As we exhale, then we relax as we come back to our starting position. We'll do this one more time. It's inhale and exhale, stretch. Then inhale over the head and exhale, returns. Okay, then just relax everything, shake it up, shift the shoulders and bobble ahead. All right, how's everyone doing so far, okay? All right, oh, I see you're nice and loosened up. I love that, good. All right, now let's do the form from beginning to end. Uh, and again, uh, let's just take one sip of water before we continue. Um, you should always try to remember to bring water to the class so you can take a sip because it's really good for you. It uh, improves your thinking. Water improves your bodily functions because Everything is electric in your body. <laughs> There's all kinds of electrical signals going on. And if you're nice and wet, you, uh, you just do much better. And uh, everything works much better when, when the body is wetted down good because uh, water is a wonderful conductor of electricity. All right, now <laughs> let's bring our feet uh, together. They're pretty close. Yeah, palms from the abdomen. These are soft, not locked. Now the first form, we inhale, reach out to the side and exhale into a stretch. Then roll the palms up as we inhale, palms together. When we exhale, soften the knees and let the fingertips come just below the chin. Now when we inhale, we straighten the knees and bring the elbows to shoulder height and pull our lungs up a little bit. And then exhale, let everything relax. That was the first form. Second one, we step off to the right slowly. So inhale, all your weight should be on the left leg and exhale, settle in. Then inhale, gyrate the hip, and then exhale, completes the circle. Then bring this foot back as we inhale and exhale. Same thing as the other side. Weights on the uh, left leg as we inhale and exhale. We step out about 45 degrees out to the right, uh, out to the left. Now we gyrate the hip. So inhale, we gyrate the hip. The arm follows the rotation 
and exhale completes the gyration. This kind of loops this whole area up really good. Inhale, bring the foot back and exhale. Third form, we carry the ball from the left to the right, starting on the uh, to the right to the left. Starting on the uh, right side, we inhale, carry the ball over to the right. So most of the weight's on one leg. And exhale, we settle in. Then inhale, bring the ball over to the left, stretch. And then exhale, sink back down. This is really good exercise for the legs. Now inhale, lower the ball and exhale, relax. Do the same thing on the other side. All the weight's gonna be on the left leg as we inhale, most of it anyway, and exhale, settle in. Then inhale, we stretch, unweight the leg, and then exhale, pressure the leg and the hip. Then inhale, lower the ball, and exhale, relax. That was the third form. Fourth form is balance the plate, just like we did in the warm up, but instead of two breaths, it's four breaths. Stepping off to the right, inhale, so all your weight's on the left leg, and exhale, settle in with the palm face up. I am mirror teaching, so I just make you all aware of this if you weren't. I'm just doing, uh, going to my left when you should be going to your right, so you can come on the same side as you. Now, inhale, bring this palm around, circle all the way around, notice I'm straightening my legs. And then exhale, I'm bending my knees when I come back down for a stretch, heads up. Now, when I inhale, I come underneath the arm, I straighten my knees, point to the front, and when I exhale, I bend the knees, so I extend the arms, keeping the shoulders over the hips so I don't lean over. Then I, it, it's like I did in our, we did in our warm up. inhale underneath the arm, straighten the knees, and exhale, bend the knees as you push to the side. Now we gyrate the hip as we inhale, all the way around, straighten up, and then exhale, crouching down. Inhale, bring this foot back, and exhale. Now we do the left side to balance the body. Inhale, all the way to the left leg, and exhale, settle in. Then inhale, bring the palm around, straighten the knee, circle the arm, and exhale, bend the knee as you push behind you. Then inhale, straighten the legs as you come underneath the arm, and then exhale, bend the legs as you reach out, keep the shoulder over the hip. Then inhale, come back underneath the arm, straighten the knees. As you exhale, notice your hip goes to the right as you push to the left. Now inhale, we gyrate the hip, all stretching up, and then exhale, coming back down as we complete the rotation of the hip. Then inhale, bring this foot back and exhale. Fifth form is both together, but we take half steps to go into position, starting with the right side. Inhale, exhale to position, left side. Inhale and exhale, come into position. Then inhale, straighten the knees, open the chest, circle the arms, and exhale, push behind us, as we lift the head up. Now, as you inhale, float the palms underneath the arms. As you exhale, bend the knees as you push to the front, keeping the shoulders over the hips. Now, as you inhale, straighten the knees as you come back underneath the arms, and then exhale, push to the side and stretch. This is all circles. Inhale, circle over the head as you stretch through the abdomen, and exhale, bend the knees as you return. Bring the right foot back, inhale, exhale. Now the left side, inhale, and exhale. Creating a brighter world is your homework assignment to do this 100 times a day. And that's to just push the belly out and down and tuck it in. So we begin a little more formal in class, but when you're doing it on your own, just push it out, tuck it in, that's it. Don't worry about breath or anything. Here we'll worry about breath. So inhale, push the belly out, thumbs on the belly button. When you exhale, give it a good squeeze all the way to the backbone. Now inhale, push the abdomen out and down, stretch, and then exhale, give it a good squeeze, tuck it in. That was called creating a brighter world because your whole world gets brighter when you empty out this area. And that helps you do that, firms and tones the tummy muscles and improves your overall circulation. Seventh form is dragon looks up to the sky. As you inhale, we're in a crouched position. We bring the palms up the eye height, pinch the first three. When we exhale, we stay in this crouched position and tuck the knuckles to our lower back. Now when we inhale, we drag the, straighten the knees and drag the knuckles up our rib cage into the armpits, stretch, and then exhale, fold the elbows over the fingers and relax. Now we inhale, we squeeze the shoulder blades as you lift the chin up, and then exhale, just let everything relax. A nice, marvelous stretch. 
Eighth and final form is called raising the power. So when you inhale, we kind of bend the knees a little bit as we draw our palms up, pulling Earth's energy from the Earth, bring it into our body, and then exhale, pushing it down into our second chakra, two inches below the belly button and two inches deep. This is an energy center where we accumulate and store energy. Then to conclude, we inhale straight the knees, palms to prayer posture. As we're exhaling, we're bowing to acknowledge this wonderful energy as we stretch the back of our legs. Then we hold for one more breath. Inhale and exhale. Don't curve your back. Keep your back straight, just hinging at the hip. Let the weight of the body stretch the back of the legs. Now when we inhale, we're slowly coming up. And when we exhale, just soften the knees, look down to the earth, and just bring your mind into the body for a brief moment in time. Okay, good job. Now, I invite you to sit down for a minute. Let's rest for a moment and absorb some energy that we just created. I want you to relax, and this is called active relaxation. It's active because you're very mindful of what you're doing. You're bringing your mind into the moment by simply focusing on the breath. So posture is important. Sit up straight with the shoulders over the hips. Put the knees over the ankles and put the back of the palms behind the knees. And ideally, you'll, uh, you don't need to look at me while you do this because you're going to just bring your mind into yourself. So look down to the earth. And if you're comfortable closing your eyes, close them. And just bring your mind's awareness to the breath. Let your breathing be natural. Right now, I'm uh, breathing a little heavier because I'm, I put 100% of my energy into what I'm doing. So my body's asking for a little bit more oxygen right now. So when I'm inhaling, but I'm aware of the body expanding as I take the breath in. When I exhale, I'm completely aware of the body relaxing, just letting go. And this is how you reactively relax the body. And so doing, you relax very quickly. If you let your mind go off thinking someplace else, you're not here, you're gonna be someplace else. And you get the most benefit out of the moment. The moment that we're talking about is what's here right now, is to simply be here right now. And the way to do that is to simply bring your mind into the moment by just letting your so be fully conscious of your breath. So when you're inhaling, the body is expanding. When you're exhaling, the body is completely and deeply relaxing. You just let yourself go and relax the shoulders. And just release all the tension in the body. When you release the tension, you help. You have to do this mindfully, which brings the mind in the body because the body is always right there with the mind. The body can't really relax until the mind relaxes. And as soon as the mind relaxes, the body gets to relax. When the body relaxes, you release tension, which um, opens up the gateways throughout your body. So the energy is flowing much more efficiently. Your vascular system is, um, in other words, if you were tense and everything, you would create swelling and inflammation um, that uh, restrict the flow throughout your vascular system, as well as your energetic system. Your energetic system is the system that carries the signals from point A to point B. So when your brain says wiggle the toe, uh, you can just immediately do that because you have that free flow of energy. Well, it takes a while to uh, coordinate that um, energy, that, uh, that movement, um, that slowness is usually caused from not a very good pathway. You want to sharpen yourself up. This is the best way to do it, is to do a little exercise and then just relax and let the body absorb the energy from just doing that exercise. So now, let's open our eyes and clasp our hands in front of our abdomen. And inhale, bring the clasped hands up to our chest. As you exhale, keep the shoulders over the hips, extend the arms into a stretch. 
then inhale and exhale a little bit more deeply into their stretch. Now, when you inhale, lift the palms up. When you exhale, look up to stretch. One more breath. Inhale, stretch out just a little more, and then exhale slowly. Lower the palms to your lap. Take your right hand to the left knee. As we inhale, let's reach around behind and exhale, pull ourselves into a twist. One more breath. Inhale, twist a little more deeply, and then exhale. As we're exhaling, spin around to the other side. Then inhale and exhale into position. One more breath. Inhale, twist a little more deeply, and exhale. Come on back to our starting point. Okay. <laughs> now, I invite you to uh, uh, stand up again. We're going to do the form again from beginning to end, one time each movement. And then I'm going to have you sit down, and then we'll do the form from a seated position if you so choose to sit. So you can do this standing or sitting doesn't it doesn't matter if your knees are really sore you're going to want to do this sitting so you don't antagonize the joint just make it work for you so again just remember that uh, uh, we move the body with the breath when we're inhaling the body's expanding when we're exhaling the body's relaxing uh, the movement the inhale is the up movement the exhale is the down movement and um, just allow yourself to be present with what you're doing. You really have to in order to do the form. And that's the discipline that uh, requires your mind to come into the body and just relax the entire system. So these are soft, palms are in front of the abdomen. One time each movement, let's go. So it's inhale, straighten the knees and exhale, stretch. Then inhale, roll the palms up palms together, and then exhale, relax till the fingertips come just below the chin. As we inhale, elbows to shoulder height, lift your spine up, and then exhale, let the palms float down. See if you can feel some air passing through your palms as they come down. Second form, we step off to the right. As we inhale, all your weight's on the left leg, and exhale, settle in, push down, stiff arm, and crouch. So you inhale, we gyrate the hip, let the arm follow the rotation, and exhale completes the rotation. Then we bring this foot back as we inhale and exhale. Now we do the other side. We inhale and exhale, settle in. Inhale, gyrate the hip. Exhale completes the gyration. Then inhale, bring the foot back and exhale. Carry the ball to the right. As we inhale, bring the ball to the right. So most of the weight's on the right leg. And exhale, settle in, crouched. Inhale, we straighten up the body, straighten the legs, bring the ball to the left. And then exhale, just kind of sink back down into that crouched position. Good for the legs. Then inhale, lower the ball. And exhale, now we're ready to do the other side. Inhale. And exhale, settle into the hip. Then inhale, straighten the legs and stretch, and then exhale, sink back down into the hip. <laughs> then inhale, lower the ball, and exhale, relax. Fourth form is balance the plate. As you inhale, all the weights on the left leg, and exhale, step out 45 degrees with the palm face up, holding a plate. As you inhale, bring the palm around, circle all the way around the arm, and exhale, crouch and stretch. Then inhale, straighten the knees, come underneath the arm, and then exhale, bend the knees as you push to the front. Shoulder stays over the hip. Then as you inhale, come back underneath the arm, and then exhale, push to the side and stretch. Inhale, gyrate all the way around, and then exhale, sink back down to return. Inhale, bring this foot back, and exhale. Other side, inhale, step out to the left, and exhale, weights on the right foot. Then inhale, gyrate all the way around, stretch, and then exhale, crouch back down, push behind you. Inhale, underneath the arm, stretch, point to the front, and exhale, bend the knees as we push to the front. Inhale back underneath the arm, straighten the knee, and then exhale, push to the side and stretch. These are all circles. Inhale, circle over the head, gyrate the hip the opposite way, come up in the top of the circle, and exhale, come back down as you complete the circle. Bring the foot back as we inhale, 
and exhale. Fifth form, half step to the right, inhale, exhale, half step to the left, inhale, and exhale, sink into a crouch position. Then inhale, straighten the knees, open the chest, circle the arms, and exhale, bend the knees and push behind you. Inhale, straighten the knees, come underneath the arm, and then exhale, push to the front and stretch. Inhale, back underneath the arm, straighten the knees, and exhale, push to the side and stretch. Inhale, crisscross over the head, stretching through the abdomen, and exhale, bend the knees. Bring the right foot back in, half step, inhale, exhale. Now the left, inhale, exhale. Creating a brighter world, your homework assignment. So when you inhale, push the belly out and exhale, tuck the belly in. It's just standing up straight. Inhale, abdomen extends as we push it out and down. When we exhale, we give it a good squeeze, tuck it into the back pump, really good tight. Seventh form is dragon looks up to the skies. You inhale, we bend the knees and the palms float up thigh height. Pinch the first three fingers as you exhale, keep the knees bent this time and put the knuckles to your kidneys, your lower back. As you inhale, drag those knuckles up the rib cage and massage the muscles that wrap around the ribs all the way up into the armpit and then exhale, fold the elbow over the fingers. Now as you inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the chin up to stretch the breastplate and then exhale, <laughs> let the arms drop down. What a wonderful stretch that is. Eighth and final form is called raising the power. So as we inhale, we gather the power of the earth through our palms as we bend down a little bit. Drag it into our chest, keep the knees bent, and then exhale. While the knees bent, we push the energy into our lower abdomen and then let the arms relax. That completes the form. Now to conclude, we inhale, straighten the knees, palms to prayer posture. As we exhale, we're gonna bow, just hinging at the hip to stretch the back of the legs. And then we hold for one more breath. As we inhale, we exhale a little bit more deeply into that stretch from the back of the legs, acknowledging this wonderful energy inside us and all around us. As we inhale, slowly come up. And as we exhale, soften the knees as you let the palms slope down. And just look to the ground or and just bring your mind's awareness into the moment. So try not to analyze anything, try not to think about anything, just be present and in the moment with yourself. Just enjoy being here. Feel the tingling inside the body. Okay, good job everybody. So we're gonna do the form uh, sitting down. Uh, you may stand up if you wish to stay standing up and do the form. Those of you that have been with me for a while may wish to do that, or you might get a little tired about now and you wanna sit down and do the form. Um, so what it does, it just takes the weight off your legs. We're still doing all the dynamic rotations uh, through our upper body, but the lower body just doesn't get too much of a workout, a little bit, but not much. So um, I'm gonna grab, teach from a chair. Again, uh, sitting is optional, but for those of you that are doing the class sitting, this, uh, this is for you. And for those of you that are, that are standing, this is also for you. <laughs> Make it work for you, okay? So palms from the abdomen, shoulders are over the hips. Here's the first form. Inhale, reach out to the side and exhale into a stretch. Then inhale, roll the palms up, bring them together. And then as you exhale, relax till the fingertips come just below the chin. Now, as you inhale, lift the elbows to shoulder height. Fingers are almost touching still. Lift your uh, spine up, lift your rib cage up, stretch through the back, and then exhale. Let the palms float down by your side. That was the first form. Second form, we step off to the right. As you inhale, we bring the right foot up and out 45 degrees. As you exhale, stiff arm to the inside of your knee. Pull open your fingers. Now, as you inhale, I want you to push down and around in a circle. So you're kind of massaging the head. In your lower back as you exhale, return. Now, when you inhale, bring this uh, right foot back and exhale, place it down. Other side, same thing. So it's inhale, bring your left foot up and exhale, then push your palm down to the inside of your right left thigh. Now, as you inhale, just push down and around and exhale, returns. Then inhale, bring this foot back 
and exhale. Now, put both feet together. We're going to carry the ball over to the right. So inhale, bring both palms to the right. The bottom palm is in front of the midline of your body, face up. The outside palm is face down. And exhale into position. Now, when you inhale, we bring the ball over to the left. The bottom palm is face up in front of the midline of your body. The outside palm is facing down. As you exhale, you return back to the right side of the body. Bottom palm is face up. Then inhale, lower the ball to the center and exhale, relax. Fourth form is balance the plate. When we inhale, we bring the right foot up and out 45 degrees. When you exhale, Palm is face up, down by the inside of your knee, your uh, right knee. Now, as you inhale, reach out and around. Circle the arm all the way around as we kind of stretch through the side, and then exhale, kind of crouch and push behind you. Now, as you inhale, come underneath the arm, stretch through the side, point the fingers to the front, and then exhale, just relax as you push to the front, stretch. Then as you come back underneath the arm, we stretch through the side, make the circle, point to the right, and then exhale, stretch to the right. Then inhale, gyrate the arm all the way around, full swing, and then exhale, come on back to our starting position. Then bring the foot back as we inhale, and exhale, place the right foot down. Left foot, inhale, out 45 degrees, and exhale, Bring the palm face up to the inside of your knee. And inhale, come out and around. Circle all the way around with the arm and exhale, push behind us. Then inhale, come underneath the arm, stretch through the sides. So you have plenty of room and point to the front and then exhale, keep the shoulders over the hips as you extend the arm, relax in the body. Then inhale, back underneath the arm and stretch, stride, stretch, and then exhale, push to the side and stretch. Then inhale, gyrate all the way around over the head, hee -ha, and then exhale, come back down and return. Bring the foot back as we inhale and exhale. Now we do both hands at the same time. So inhale, we open the chest, circle the arms, and exhale, push behind us as we stretch. Then inhale, sit up straight and float the palms underneath the arms, and then exhale, kind of relax as you extend the arms to the front. Then inhale, sit up straight as you come underneath the arms, and then exhale, push to the side and stretch. Then inhale, crisscross over the head, stretching through the sides, the abdomen, and then exhale, completes the circle as you relax. Creating a brighter world, your homework assignment. When you inhale, push the belly up, tuck, put the thumbs in the belly up, you exhale, make a triangle and just Tuck it right there. Then inhale, push the belly out, let the palms flow out with the energy, and exhale, give it a good squeeze. Seventh form is dragon looks up in the sky. As you inhale, the palms float up the eye height, pinch the first three by your eyes, play the other two fingers. When you exhale, put the knuckles to your kidneys, your lower back. Now as you inhale, just drag the back of your hand up the rib cage for a little massage and land the fingers the back of your hand behind in the armpits as you exhale, fold the elbows over the fingers. Now as you inhale, we just squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the chin up to stretch the thigh width in your neck and then your back and then exhale, let everything relax. Eighth and final form is raising the power. So when we inhale, we gather the power of the earth as we draw the energy up to about shoulder height, we pull it into our chest as we exhale, we push it down into our lower abdomen where we accumulate and store the energy, palms to our side. Now to conclude, we inhale, palms to prayer posture. As we exhale, we're gonna bow with our head up and hold for one more breath. Inhale and exhale a little bit more deeply into that stretch, feel your lower back. Then inhale, come on up. And as we exhale, let the palms float down, look down to the earth. And just bring your mind's awareness into the moment. Okay, you can do the standing or sitting. We're going to tap through our body from the top of our head down to our toes. And um, I believe uh, Justin and Aaron will uh, unmute you. So if you wanted to unmute yourself at this time and make a little noise with me, you could do that. <laughs> And it's kind of let yourself free. So when I, when we, uh, when you, when you shout it out, 
but you just really shout it out. We can do this together. It's kind of cool when we do it together. So it's up to you, you know, but I, I'd like to, I'd like, love to, love to have you do it, shout it out whether you want to turn your mic on or off, it's up to you. Okay. Hey, Mitch, uh, they, they can unmute themselves now. Yay. Thank you, Justin. Cool. All right. So let's start tap from the top of our head. Let's do the sit, seated or standard, up to you. Come to the back of the head. Come down the back of the head behind the, where the neck touches, it connects to the head bone. And then come behind the ears, then on top of the ears, and go all around the temples, the temples, the temples. All around the forehead, the forehead, the forehead. Do the eyebrows, eyebrows. Do the outside corners of the eyes. Come below the, on top of the eye sockets. Come below the nose on the upper level of the gum line and then go up to the back teeth and then come back down. And then come down to the front. I mean, the lower level, excuse me. And then come up to the back teeth and then back down. Now all around the chin, chinny, chin, chin. <laughs> underneath the jaw, come all the way underneath the jaw to the head up to the back behind the jaw. And then underneath the uh, jaw below the ears, there's some soft tissue in there that's glandular. Kind of feels good to tap that area. Now we're going to do scrunchy face and open face. So let's make a tight fist and scrunch the face. On the count of three, we're going to do open face, and you can make a sound and stick your tongue out for a better stretch and to release stale energy. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, two more times. Give it a good scrunch. Scrunch it up. Oh, really squeeze it out. Squeeze it tight. This makes you look good. Good for your complexion. One, two, three. Ah! Ah! Okay, one more time. Really scrunch. This is really good for your overall circulation because, you know, this opens up everything. Okay, one, two, three. Ah! Ah! Okay, now close your eyes for a second uh, if you're sitting. <laughs> And, or look down to the ground and just bring your mind's awareness to that tingling sensation throughout your face. Uh -huh. Now, put your right arm out with the thumb up, drop your head down to the left and take your left hand and start tapping right to the shoulder connects to the neck. And you can kind of feel it down into the lungs. <laughs> oh, it's a good clearing in the lungs. Now on top of the shoulder, now on top of the bicep, come on top of the forearm, start coming down the forearm to the wrist, wrist, top of the thumb, top of the thumb, front of the fist, take you the karate chop, lower wrist, start coming up the forearm to the elbow, 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 tricep, 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 armpit, 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 to the upper part of the chest. Now let's do the other side. Drop the head down, tap up high with the shoulder, connects to the neck. So well, this uh, left arm is extended out, the thumb up, and top of the shoulder. Okay, now tap on top of the bicep, top of the forearm, start coming down the forearm, and tap with good pressure, so you're sending shock waves down into the bone tissue, and top of the thumb, from the fist, pinky the karate top, lower wrist, start coming up the forearm to the elbow, now the tricep, tricep, armpit, armpit, armpit. Now let's do the upper part of the chest. Now I want you to follow me. When I go ha, you go ha. If I go ha ha, you go ha ha. <laughs> Let me go first. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna end in a big laughter, okay? So let yourself pray, ready? Ha! Now, while you're tapping the abdomen, 
I want you to use your head to put your behind up. So you lift your chin up and just stand up. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Now, uh -huh. bend forward and do your kidneys, kidneys, kidneys. Okay, do your tailbone, tailbone, tailbone. Okay, buttocks, buttocks, buttocks. Come on down the back of the legs. Come up the inside. Hips, hips, hips. Hips, hips, come on down the outside. Come up the front of the legs. Hips, hang out the knees, knees on the reach, all around the knees. Come up the thighs, 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 thighs. Abdomen, 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 abdomen. Now, while you're tapping your abdomen, I want you to slowly sit back down. And then let's smooth out the energy in our body. And we're gonna put your hands crossed on each shoulder, on the opposite shoulder, and sweep uh, all the way down to the toes. And we're gonna do this three times, just saying it feels so good. It's a good positive affirmation. Ready? It feels so good. Uh, let's do that again. It feels so good. Now the third time, let's say it in Korean, and the term for it feels so good is I shwanada. Ready? I shwanada. 